Elementary teachers, do you know the number one reason teachers fail at growing gardens? It's actually very basic and probably the last thing you'd suspect. And I know this to be true because I've seen it happen with a gazillion teachers. And the good news is if you get this one thing right, your chances of magical success skyrocket guaranteed. What is it? It's the technique that you use to start seedlings right out of the gate from the very beginning. Imagine putting all that hard work into growing your seeds and then things happen as they always do in a school and you get distracted for a few days and then you come back and you see the soil is too dry because you all forgot about it or too wet because the students you assigned to water did too much. What a nightmare. The thing is, as soon as seeds wake up, they need the right amount of moisture consistently. Too wet and they get moldy and rot, too dry and they die quickly. They're very fragile at the very beginning. And inconsistency is the worst enemy. Flooding them and then drought, giving them drought and flood and drought is the worst thing you can do for them. It weakens them if it doesn't kill them off. You are crazy busy and your students are forgetful just because they're young. When your students planted these seeds, they essentially planted hope. The last thing you want is for them to have to throw their seedlings into the garbage. It's 100% possible to set up your seedlings right from the beginning so that they can grow strong on their own without worries and headaches and too many chores and checking on them a million times a day and second guessing yourself, is it too dry, is it too wet, should I water now, should I wait? I have a guide on this technique for you. It's called indoor seed starting in school. Go grab it from my profile so you can grow food with your students with so much ease, it'll feel like magic.